When I ring that bell, he's like, I'm done with cancer. You vividly remember that day where they walked in and they told you that your son has a mass in his brain. And um, to a large degree, I had a gut sense about it. I just knew something wasn't right. And ironically, he has been the one who has been saying, it's okay, mom, it's okay. Just, just breathe, mommy, it's okay. And I, I'm a little embarrassed about that because I should be the one who's doing that for him. Tommy has been the rock. And, uh, nothing, nothing seems to get in his way. Uh, nothing seems to bother him too much. He might have some questions. Uh, he might want to understand exactly what he's going to do. Uh, but the folks here are great at telling him exactly what, what's going to happen, why it's going to happen. And after that, Tommy's great. And in fact, he's been an encouragement not only to us, but to some of the other families and to some of the other kids to show them how proton beam works. It's nothing to be afraid of and, and how the process is. Well, yeah, when um, they were actually making the mask, it was rather intimidating for us to watch this mesh being you know, conformed over his face. And I asked him, I said, Tommy, are you afraid? He said, no. I said, gosh, I would be so afraid. He's like, no, Mommy. He's like, I know you could do it. And so, again, to, to see that confidence in him and that, you know, this can-do attitude, I think, was really remarkable. And he has been um, living this mantra of crush it. You know, we, he's a big soccer player, so um, we kind of envision this whole um, you know, idea of him crushing the soccer ball into the goal, and that's how he's going to handle the cancer. And one night we were talking, and he said, Mommy, he's like, look at this. He's like, what's, you know, I said, what is that? He's like, Mommy, this is my tumor. He's, and I said, okay. He's like, and this is me crushing it. And he just got so engaged with the whole process. And I think so much of it has been the team that is here. And I think we knew there was a difference at MGH when we were in Tacoma and they said, please send a picture of Tommy. And they saw Tommy as a person, not as an MRI, not as a medical record. And I think that's where we saw that there's absolutely going to be a difference between any other care we could get anywhere in the country. And so we were advocating to come here. The effectiveness and uh, the incredible, tremendous people that they have here at MGH and the Proton Therapy Center. And specifically, um, doctors, Dr. Yock was our lead doctor, director of the program. Uh, the nursing staff here, uh, Rachel, uh, Katie, Mandy, phenomenal people that connect with not only the patient, the pediatric patient kids, um, but their siblings, uh, and the parents as well, too. So it really is treatment for the entire family. The music director here, Lori, is phenomenal. Phenomenal talent at getting kids to be involved and to do therapy through music, which is her specialty. And you hear silliness and music and laughter and loud voices and little girl screams and hoots and hollers come from that room all hours of the day. And that's fantastic. That's what kids should be doing. That's what, that's what a, parents should be hearing from their kids, is the kids acting normal. It is not unnormal for us on some days that not only Tommy the patient but his, uh, his two siblings forget that we're here for cancer. And that is the best gift um, that this center, that these doctors and nurses, that this hospital has provided to us as parents. We don't ever forget. But when you have days where Tommy forgets and his sisters forget, that's, that's a gift that, that no one else could provide. And I'm not sure that anybody else in the country does provide quite in the same way that Mass General Hospital does. Of course, through a series of connections, you know, people who we knew had worked with you and, you know, you came with, you know, glowing reviews. And so, um, and I told people that the first day when we met you and your ability to connect with Tommy and then connect with us was so remarkable. And I work with a lot of healthcare providers, as you know, and, and, and that's not an innate ability. And uh, in, in a lot of people, but clearly you have it and in spades, and I can't thank you enough. So. Thanks for everything on the six and a half weeks. Thanks. Thanks. Well, you did fantastic. Yeah.